Hello everyone and welcome to this quick overview video of uh, Conqueror Misfortune. Since patch 9.4 Conqueror got reworked and the effect now is very similar to old Fervor of Battle, just in case you remember that one. So attacks or spells that deal damage to an enemy champion grant 3 to 15 adaptive force for 3 seconds. 8 for Millie, but uh, Misfortune is ranged, so 3 seconds for her. And it stacks up to 5 times, and when fully stacked you get the true damage conversion, which is 10%, down from 20%, and the true damage also heals you now. So, what that means is, um, it is worse against tanks, obviously. It is worse for melee champions, but it's way better for ranged champions, and especially for Misfortune. Old Conqueror had the problem that you had to stay in combat for 4 seconds before anything would happen, and this version of Conqueror, it will grant you a bonus immediately as soon as you um, do anything really to your uh, to your enemies. So uh, to show you right now I went with a level 9-ish item build for Bloodthirster Overheal Misfortune and um, we are at 201 AD. So if you just raw ult them, if you raw ult them we gain 5 free AD. So that's not too shabby. Obviously this is the worst case scenario. So at worst it will just give you half a long sword at level 9. And it's um, it doesn't matter how many enemies you hit with AoE spells, so you see I hit all three dummies right there, I still get one conqueror stack. This is true for R, one stack, and this is also true for E. If I E all three of them, I only get one stack. When I E one of them, it's also one stack, so that's not a difference. And uh, But there's one interesting interaction, so if, well if we auto them, we get one stack, right? One stack, two stack, three stacks. Unfortunately, Love Tap does not count towards uh, the Conqueror spell um, count. So when we auto a new target, it's just one stack because uh, Love Tap doesn't count as an extra one. That's to be expected, but I'm still kind of sad. It, well, it would be, it would have been the dream, really. But uh, you know, AOE effects just one stack. But there is one exception to this, and this is your Q. So if you Q someone and it Qs a champion behind them as well. One, two, two stacks. Two stacks, one Q. And Misfortune effectively only needs three stacks before she can ult. So five stacks might seem like a lot. It, people might think it's five auto attacks for that matter, but since spell, spells count as well, it's way better for her than old Fervor of Battle. So if you ER the enemy, which is the standard combo you should be doing anyway if you want to team fight, you get two stacks immediately. We're at 201 AD right now. ER, 211, two stacks. So, the dream scenario is obviously um, Q auto, ER, I kind of goofed that up <laughs> with the camera angle. Let me do that again. So, Q auto, ER, immediate conqueror proc. Immediate. Just one rotation, you get the proc immediately. But this is only true if you um, get true stacks off of Q. So, this is the optimist scenario. But if there's no enemy behind, uh, that's no problem. You just pop your W as well. Auto, Q, Auto, ER, Immediate Conqueror stack. So, attack speed is not as important, actually. I thought attack speed would be way more important. So, uh, this works with the crit build, of, with the overheal build, obviously, because you can just kite, right? You can kite, you can uh, dodge skill shots with your movement speed, get up to your Conqueror, and you don't even need to ult right away. You, um, you can then ult whenever you want, because as soon as you ult, the buff refreshes, and you will get the full 3 second duration, and hit all enemies with true damage. So that's the nice thing about this. But also, as I've demonstrated just earlier, when you play Lethality Misfortune, it is also just as good, because you can auto-Q, auto-ER, and you get immediate, con immediately Conqueror proc. And also, if you need to kite with Lethality Misfortune, you can still do that and ramp up Conqueror slowly, Sometimes you need to wait, sometimes there is a Malphite, for example, in the enemy team, you need to wait until he ults, and then as soon as his ult is off the table, you can go in, you can start auto -him, autoing him a little bit, test the waters, and slowly stack your Conqueror that way, and you, again, you only need three stacks, because as soon as you get to three stacks, let me demonstrate it one more time, because I think it's so lovely, you are at three stacks, one, two, three, and then ER, immediate Conqueror proc, immediate true damage, you see the white numbers right there, so, yeah, that's how you should play around with Conqueror for Misfortune. So if you have any other neat interactions, if you have found anything, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, have fun with Conqueror Misfortune. I think she's completely broken. 
and it's uh, it's it's going to be a great patch. So have fun with her, and most importantly, have a nice day, and see you in today's video. Yeah, or tomorrow's video. I, I'm not too sure when I upload this, but um, yeah, have fun with Misfortune, and see you next time. Bye!